Hello, and welcome to the next video in our ESSA video series titled, Using Clearinghouses. I am Dr. Amy Boza, Director of ELA Standards and Move On When Reading. I am Lauren Spensley, and I am the Secondary ELA Specialist for the Arizona Department of Education ELA team. I'm Eric Ambroso, Research Assistant with Rail West at West. We are happy to share the next phase of our ESSA informative webinar series. You are watching video number four, which builds on the information from all of the previous videos. In video two, we talked about the different ESSA evidence levels, as well as the five factors used for determining tiers of evidence. And in video three, we talked about evidence-based improvement. In this video, we will show you how to use the clearinghouses, evidence for ESSA, and what works clearinghouse to help you in this process and to help you research the best evidence-based programs for your school or district. These sites will be invaluable as you continue your journey of becoming an ESSA investigator. For the purposes of this webinar, a clearinghouse is a digital library of information about educational research. For your work in Arizona school districts, a clearinghouse is just another tool in your toolbox that can be used to help you select appropriate programs and interventions for the students you serve. Two of the most common clearinghouses for educational research are ESSA for, Evidence for ESSA and What Works Clearinghouse. Although there are differences between the two clearinghouses, both sites can provide valuable information on evidence-based programs and interventions. Next, Lauren will tell you a little about evidence for ESSA before I provide an overview of what works Clearinghouse. The evidence for ESSA website is to help identify programs and practices that meet the ESSA evidence standards. It provides a free, authoritative, user-centered database to help anyone, school, district, or state leaders, teachers, parents, or concerned citizens easily find programs and practices that align to the ESSA evidence standards and meet their local needs. Its information is solely intended to be useful to educators and the public. You will note that evidence for ESSA shows studies at the strong, moderate, and promising levels. The website for evidence for ESSA is evidenceforessa.org. We will also provide that link where you access to this video. And there are different ways that you can search for programs that will be useful to your, or that will be the best for your school. One way to search is that you can go ahead and click on reading. And when you click on reading, you will see a list of evidence-based reading programs as well as their ESSA rating. So for example, success for all whole class for pre-K six is strong. And you continue to scroll down and look at different programs. Once you click on a program, We'll show you some of the information that you were provided. So when you click on the website or when you click on the program, you will be taken to a ton of information about this. So you can see that Success for All whole class has a strong rating. There's 11 studies that have been done that equal 36,589 students. And as we've talked about in past videos, there is it's very important that you have programs that have had multiple studies and the more students the better because then you know that this effect size um, is really shows that this program is successful. Um, you can also see a description of the program, program outcomes, staffing requirements, professional development training, the technology that's required for the program, etc. On the right hand side, you will also see that there's information on the contact information for contacting a salesperson, there's cost, the grades that have, were studied in the studies, groups that were studied, communities that were studied, and you can also click and you'll be shown key studies that were done, and you can also click for or to be linked to What Works Clearinghouse, which Eric will talk more about in just a moment. Now, when you are looking at programs in Evidence for ESSA and you go to search, you will see, you might see something like this. So we're gonna search for a program called Reading Eggs. And you'll see as you type in the search bar up in the right hand side, that if it's available, it'll show up in the drop down. So you go ahead and click that. 
and you might receive a message like this. No studies met inclusion requirements. If you receive a message like that, this could mean that no studies have been reviewed by evidence for ESSA, or it could be that the studies are not eligible because they didn't meet the criteria. In that case, you will need to do further research on the other sites we are about to share. What Works Clearinghouse is part of the Institute of Educational Sciences, or IES, within the US Department of Education. What Works Clearinghouse is a source of evidence on educational programs, products, practices, and policies. The site has a wealth of information and resources that can help educators and leaders make evidence-based decisions about teaching and learning. You will note that What Works Clearinghouse only shows studies at the strong and moderate levels. This short video will help to explain the purpose and functional functionality of What Works Clearinghouse. Not all education research is equal. Identifying well-designed studies, trustworthy research, and meaningful findings to inform decisions and improve student outcomes can be tricky. That's where What Works Clearinghouse, or the WWC, comes in. An investment of the Institute of Education Sciences at the U.S. Department of Education, the WWC is a resource that helps teachers, researchers, administrators, and policymakers make evidence-based decisions. We review the research, determine which studies meet rigorous standards, summarize the findings, and provide tools to help educators use research in practice. Since 2008, the WWC has developed several resources to help educators, administrators, parents, and policymakers make better decisions related to education. We help answer the question, what works in education? Find What Works is one of our most popular resources and is easily accessed on the WWC homepage. It allows users to identify programs, policies, and practices that have been shown to improve student outcomes. You can easily sort by topic, filter search results, and find research that was conducted with students similar to yours. The WWC also develops practice guides, which summarize key findings for educators in an easy to use and accessible format and provide practical recommendations for policy and practice changes. Each guide uses detailed examples to show how recommendations can be implemented in the classroom. Users can also quickly access intervention reports. Intervention reports are a summary of findings of the highest quality research on a given program, policy, practice, or product in education. They offer clear, relevant information to help make decisions about making policy and program changes, and include details such as program components, target populations, and costs. To find a specific study reviewed by the WWC, Search through the Reviews of Individual Studies database. You can explore thousands of studies that meet WWC design standards and find detailed information about study characteristics and ratings. The WWC is proud to be a trusted source of high-quality research on education programs, products, practices, and policies for teachers, administrators, researchers, and policymakers. For more information about the WWC and our resources, please visit our website at whatworks.ed.gov. In video two of this webinar series, we introduced you to the ESSA Tiers of Evidence, What You Need to Know handout. You can use this handout, particularly the five factors listed, listed on the bottom of the first page, to determine if a program is a good fit for your students. In the clearinghouses we discussed today, will help, we'll help you find information on those five factors. Study design, results of the study, findings from re related studies, sample size and setting, and match.
For example, Evidence for ESSA gives you a useful table that tells you some information about participants included in the studies done on every program. You can use this information to determine whether the study is a match for your educational settings. If you're looking for, for more information about findings, What Works Clearinghouse can tell you how many studies met their standards for specific outcomes. In this case, it's alphabetics. It is possible that you might not be able to find your program on one of these two sites. This could be for a number of reasons, such as the studies have not been reviewed or are too new. In this situation, there are other places you can look for information to help you determine if the programs are evidence-based. One option is going to the vendors that create the programs. As a note of caution, when you are searching on websites on vendor websites or reaching out to vendors, remember that their goal is to make money and the information might be presented from an advertising perspective and may not meet all expected requirements. Double check using a complete research study and the five factors. When you talk to your vendor, ask them for specific research. They may send summaries or advertising information instead. They should provide more information without hesitation, such as full research studies. In the next video in our series, we will show you how to read a study you might receive that hasn't been vetted by one of the clearinghouses. Some of these categories, such as promising, are common terms and might not always be used to reference ESSA evidence tiers. That's something to remember when you're going through the information from the vendors. You can also check on our Move On When Reading website on the Administrators tab for our vetted list of core intervention and supplemental programs. Two other websites that you can go to are ERIC and Google Scholar. ERIC and Google Scholar are both places that you can search for scholarly research and articles. And you may be able to find more information there such as studies and other information. We will link to these sites with the video. In our next video, we will show you how to evaluate a study that you may receive from a vendor or one that you might find on Google Scholar or Eric, like Lauren just mentioned, even, even those that you may find in the clearinghouse. We thank you for joining us in this video series and of traveling along this journey with us. We hope you will continue to join us for the rest of the series as we continue to share our knowledge and new learning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.